Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and today we'll be taking a look at map awareness and macro training. This style of video may feel new to a lot of you, but don't worry. I'll be sure to walk you through it. We're going to be doing some interactive content today while also giving you a breakdown on play-based minimap information. This is meant to be an educational and training video, so if you get anything wrong, don't feel bad. Use it as a learning experience so you can apply it to your own games and improve. So, let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Before we dive into the meat of the video, we need to talk about what makes map awareness and macro so important. Map awareness is key to League of Legends because it allows you to constantly get new information at a glance. Being able to quickly look at your map, understand what you see, and plan ahead can be game changing. This is where macro comes into play as well. With good macro, you don't need kills to win games, you can be down 20 kills, and with far better macro, your team will come out on top. Pair these two skills together and you can glance at your map and plan out the game within seconds. During laning phase, you can look at your minimap as you see yes, spot the enemy jungler for a second in the top rush, and then use that knowledge to engage in a 2v2. You can also do the opposite where you want to look for a fight but both mid and jungler are missing, so the safe play is to wait until they're both spotted. Overall, being able to use your minimap properly constantly means having awareness of what's going on in it, properly interpreting the information, and using macro to respond accordingly. Before we continue on to our next few tips, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new courses and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches are available 24 7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the ProGuides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. To help you practice your map awareness, we're going to be playing an interactive game. Throughout the video, you'll have to check the bottom right of your screen for a champion icon. We won't be pausing the video or leaving the champion there for long, so make sure you check your minimap often. Most challenger players check their minimap as often as every 5 seconds, sometimes even more often than that. To start out, we recommend that you try to build the habit of checking every 10-15 to 15 seconds and slowly reducing time from there. Try to keep track of what champions were shown, but don't be disappointed if you can't remember them. We'll reveal them and their secret message at the end of the video. Also, this interactive experience is best done in full screen to mimic how you would actually check your map in-game. Since you'll be focused on the video, you'll only be able to take a few glances at the bottom right of your screen every few seconds, so keep your eyes peeled. This is similar to how you'll be attempting to see us and take trades while also watching your minimap. We'll give you the first champion for free. Check your minimap now. Good, you found Vafi. Don't forget summoners, try to glance in the bottom right every 10 seconds. Now before we move on to our scenario based off the video, let's not forget about our favorite pro guide tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is one bad macro strategy that you hate seeing? Personally, I hate knowing that the enemy is taking Baron S5 and having my team spam ping me to face check just to make sure. Be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also, did you catch that rise? Yeah? Okay, we're just testing you. Pulling us back into the video, let's take a look at a scenario to test both your map awareness and macro knowledge together. With these scenarios, we'll be giving you some basic information, a picture of the current state of the map through the minimap, and eventually, the answer. We'll let you know when to pause so you can go ahead and have time to think. Keep in mind, these are assuming that you have access to all the map information, which may not always be the case. More often than not, you'll have to make an educated guess on what the enemy's next move is. Scenario 1, who should fight for Dragon and why? Team 1, we've got Orn Top, Mundo Jungle, Zed Mid, Jinx ADC, and Lux Support. On Team 2, we have Jax Top, Pantheon Jungle, Azir Mid, Samara ADC, and Zack Support. Starting us off, let's take a look at a common scenario when it comes to Dragon and overall objective control. Both teams here have even gold spread across their team and are on similar item spikes. In terms of team compositions, both teams benefit from the fight near the jungle, however, red team is better at diving whereas blue team is better at kiting back. It's also important to note that blue team has a significantly higher range advantage and a better engaged tool thanks to Orn. Finally, neither mid laner has teleport but both top laners have it available. With this information provided to you and a picture of the minimap, which team should look to contest Dragon and why? Alongside this, for the team not contesting Dragon, what should their next move be? Remember, League is all about trading around the map and using information, wave states, and pressure to react and plan accordingly. Feel free to pause here and give it some in-depth thought. Alright, we'll reveal the answer in 3, 2, 1. Time is up, Summoner. Eventually, you won't need to pause the game in order to quickly analyze the game at a glance. Until then, let's break down the scenario and what should happen. With this game state in mind, the correct answer is that red team should safely secure Dragon. Before we dive into what the blue team should respond with, let's take a look at why it's the red team's objective to take. Our first thing to consider is that blue team is currently off the map with Jinx, Lux, and Zed in their base. Besides the fact that Samara and Azir are about to gain a lot of wave control by shoving in the next two waves, we also have to talk about the team composition differences. Red team excels at diving into fights, which makes them great at catching enemies with good vision control. After red team shoves in mid and bot, Zack is now free to regain vision control of Dragon and then group up with his team to secure the objective. 
Should blue team attempt to contest, they risk getting engaged on by Zac and or Azir. Now that we talked about why red team gets to safely secure the dragon, let's take a look at how blue team should respond. With their bad base timers and team composition, they can't dare to contest vision control on dragon. Instead, they should look to trade pressure towards topside. This can be done by having Mundo catch the bot wave since he's going to be clearing the top lane, having Jinx catch mid wave, and having both Lux and Zed move towards the top lane. As Jinx catches the wave, she will relieve some pressure and allow for Zed and Lux to gain vision control in the top side. From there, they're able to send three members to collapse on Jax with Orn and take turret as a trade off. To put it in a more concise manner, since red team has dragon control and vision bot side, blue team should look to get vision control top side and trade the turret for dragon. While this trade isn't as impactful as Dragon can be, it is a far better trade than what most players would go for, which makes it easier to avoid bleeding out. Before diving back into the end of the video, climbing can be difficult, and sometimes you'll need help or someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So, what are you waiting for? Join us! While this video may have been shorter than what you're used to, we hope the experience has helped you get a sense of what it feels like to glance at your minimap often while also making a plan for your team's macro play. You may have noticed that sometimes you checked your minimap and nothing was there. That's the case a lot of the time. Sometimes information will remain the same or nothing impactful will be introduced. Checking often just reduces your chances of missing key info. Now, before we end the video, let's take a look at our champion icons and their secret message. Throughout the video, you should have seen Poppy, Ryze, Orianna, Gragas, Udyr, Irelia, Diana, Ezreal, Samara, Fizz, Ari, Mundo, Ivern, Lilia, and Yorick. All of these combined together spell out ProGuide's family. Thanks for watching, Summoners. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.